Hi, welcome back to ETIC ABC IT tutorial. This is topic is about uh, Virtual Center 5.5. Um, I have a new uh, Virtual Center um, in Windows 2012 here. I name it the uh, BC1. And uh, let me check the settings on the Active Directory and especially the users and computers basically it's added as a virtual center it's a member of the active directory now and of course as I said before uh, it's crucial to have a uh, reverse lookup zones and the BC one I name it, uh, I put it as 202 uh, IP address on the last port so it's fine in there so I think I have my installation on my drive D now on this virtual center one so I'll just double click there now the one thing that I'm confused here I don't usually use simple install here um, I prepare it one by one to install the four components but the problem is if you if you select the simple install it needs 3.5 but if you go to the single uh, installation, it's a prerequisite none. So, so probably just to be safe, let's install the 3.5. It doesn't uh, make up a lot of memory anyway. So let's click add roles, click next, click next, and click next, and we will select features, and we will select the 3.5 which by default the uh, I think you cannot you cannot uncheck this so 4.5 is always there and then there's a warning there so just re just click that one and starting by the way this installation is much more slower slower than the 2008 R to uh, 3.5.net I guess I think because there's a 4.5 uh, installation on the background as well so don't be surprised okay it say uh, I succeeded so let's just click close here and then let's uh, didn't the server didn't ask for reboot anyway so let's install the first component So click next, accept the EULA and since we have a uh, good DNS resolution everything is successful so we are good to go. Uh, this is our first virtual center so we select the first one. If we have a new site I will select this one. Uh, if you want to have additional virtual center on the same uh, site so you should select the second but we will use the first and then second later on for our the remote uh, on the replication side so click next in here we need to put the complicated password complicated meaning there is a capital letter there is a number there is a character like pound sign or dollar sign I'll just name it like that next next install it's up to you if you put all that that part but you will find that out anyway on uh, on google or or bing whenever you search for the ports and the shortcut of the the web client anyway is on the will be on the start menu of windows so you don't need to jot down all that well it's up to you um, as I said I'm not yet a fan of, uh, of the virtual center appliance because uh, I found it there's lots of uh, lots of struggle <laughs> that I need to do well, why do I need to struggle I, I need I need to have a life so probably I'll still just keep on testing it on the background while I'll do my job but if it's not 
perfected yet um, I don't know the, the difference on the speed is just uh, microsecond anyway as I said uh, on production you should put at least uh, 8 gig of memory or higher for on production so that it will uh, run smoother uh, in here of course I just put uh, 6 gig of memory because the testing will, will be anyway <laughs> I will just put later on on the ESX uh, a Windows Core, a Windows 2008 Core, <laughs> so that the the size of the hard drive is only two gig, and so that when we do a replication, it will replicate for just uh, under one minute. Now I have two gig of my AD1, four gig probably I just put 3 gig on this one I don't need 4 gig for my ESXi and virtual center is 6 and right now I'm uh, still on the 10.2 gig on my desktop so I will only be able to run probably 2 or 3 more virtual center here so what I will do I will uh, put it on my desktop because at least we need to have two virtual center right two ESX and that's that's about it on I the ES the the virtual center that we will do replication is just uh, as I said a Windows core that is just one gig one CPU and it will run inside the ESXi um, you know what maybe four gig is really a good thing to run uh, ESX so we will not change the ESX <laughs> so the single sign-on is done and then there's a script that is running if uh, cause stop running this script of course no let it stop by itself and it stopped by itself anyway Okay, let's go to the web client now and prerequisite the single sign on and so we're good to go. So click install and click OK. Again, click next, accept the EULA. Uh, you might jot down that as I said and then put the complicated password. And then I would will ask for the certificate to be accepted. So just accept that otherwise you will not proceed to the next level install the certificate install it and wait a couple of minutes so it's finished and then it's saying that uh, you need some time to continue because web client need a lot of time to re to, to start and it's really it's really slow right now uh, running the when you reboot the virtual center it will you have to uh, monitor the services and same thing with appliance it's also slow to start up so wait a little bit so I think we waited a little bit right now and let's proceed click OK so click next, next, accept, next, 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 and we, ha we have only small infrastructure, and then put the uh, complicated password, and click next, accept the certificate. You don't need to save all that URL. It will, uh, it will be on the the programs anyway. So I don't save all that. You can search it on Google anyway or Bing or wherever. And click install. So it's installing right now. Click finish, and then we will proceed to the last one and we install single sign-on of course inventory service and also .NET 3.5 and we have internet 
do we have internet? Let's see if we have internet. Ah. We have internet. So, let's proceed. It automatically install uh, some uh, C++. And then uh, we will not put any license for now. Okay. Um, it doesn't say that we create DSN anyway, so let's just use the express and doesn't accept. Doesn't just use the default create server instance ephemeral search that in Google if you want to know that just don't increase it for now we are small and let's put the password click next accept again the certificate and I don't sel I don't select that click next click next click next install and wait and this doing some kind of uh, on the background like of course the SQL installation it's like that or it's like that with the SQL installation whether it's standard or express okay finally it uh, installed that's the slowest to install uh, the virtual center server so let's execute this one and um, let me just check one more thing here to really disable the screen saver not that one where is that control panel it's and we say display screen saver and power settings and this one okay so what we can do is uh, I have a client on my desktop so that would be 202 and I will put ATIC ABC administrator not really the administrator at vSphere that local first and the complicated password I'll just install this one and ignore it what would life be so the first thing you need to do is to put the permission of the the local administrator and the uh, ethic abc domain admins there domain no domain admins okay and the next one will be say this is the main and let's add a new data center and let's say data center one ah got cut and then put the first ESX which is uh, 10 one no, one nine two one six eight zero dot 201 and the root password as 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 with the password so just click next and next and next finish and wait till it's uh, running
So we successfully uh, added the uh, the configuration and I think that's that that's the thing I need to do in case I will add it in the next part, okay? Ciao.